Welcome to Gainesville, Florida, and the Swamp, where, as they like to say here, only the Gators come out alive. This place is cranked up and ready for a big game today. The Razorbacks will kick this away to start us off. And here's the return from inside the five. And there's a penalty marker down on the field. Holding, holding, receiving team, team. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. The offense has to be careful now, backed up inside their own 10. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Powers through. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Getting set. Here's second down. Sticking with the running game. They break it down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to a 39. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. It's a fly to the wideout. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a... So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. Good enough for first down yardage. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Running out of time in the pocket. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Not getting the easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. He's escaping the pocket now. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Very efficient on third down. And now it's first down and goal. And there's the handoff. And they'll get him down that time. Offense facing second in goal. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. He's got it near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. He moves the ball to the one. Third down and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Looking to scramble. It's a sack that got him back at the four-yard line. Looks. Hey. The Gators looking to keep this drive moving. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Receiver makes the catch. And he scores! Touchdown! First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Look at now throwing here to start the drive. We'll take a deep shot here. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. The sideline throw caught and not enough for a first down. An important third down play coming up. Easy. 
From the gun, he looks for an open man. Looking for his back. Fish right across the middle by the running back. They got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. The Gators come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Lofting it toward the left sideline. They try a downfield shot. That's a good effort there, but now it's third down. Love this aggressive mindset from the quarterback and offensive coordinator. Found the matchup that you wanted. Take a shot downfield. You don't hit it, but you made the defense be aware of it. He dumps it off to the tight end. Chris Gray. It's defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The offense stays on the field. They're going to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown. The offense really clicking against this embattled defense. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Makes a quick catch. Tackle at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Hand off to the back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield. And Offense gets set up here. It's third down. And the quarterback dropping back. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. But they don't. It's third down for the offense. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Got him for a sack. A big Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk, but they look pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W. Well, I think this group has a chance.
Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, affectionately referred to as Stark Vegas, where it... Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end. Okay. The Gators are rolling down the field. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. And the quarterback is sacked. There are penalty flags down, but this might be doubly bad for the offense. I think the penalty might be on that. So the penalty will not be enforced. The defense defines he stands on the result of the play. Let's see what they've got on second down. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own. Unfortunately, ended up losing yards. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Got room on the return. And they capitalized not only on the pick. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Pulls it in. It's Darnold. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. That pass not broken. After that huge gain, now a chance to cash it in from just outside the five. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker pulls it in the end zone. They're about to snap it for the ninth play on this drive and they need a yard on third down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here on third down. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Just outside the red zone. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No thrills, just get the job done and get the win. Welcome to Jacksonville, annual site of one of the best rivalries in the sport. Gators and the Dogs. You put them One of those.
those critical third down plays coming up. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Catch made on the left side. Fourth down and inches. Well, a quick short throw here. Not able to convert for the first down. You'd love to see that route maybe a little bit deeper to give yourself a better chance. But they come up a little bit short. So now it's decision-making time for the coach. Pick up the first down through the air. It's a quick grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down. And a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. Brought down. The completion moves the ball to the six. Defense gets the push back. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Hands it off on the counter. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. And that one is incomplete. The Gators will line up on first and ten. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Caught near the goal line. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. The Gators trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Touchdown, Gators. Final play before the end of the quarter. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And he's brought down short of the line to gain in what should be the last play of this third quarter. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up with a chase for those playoff positions. See if this sets up as a classic finish. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. And here we go. Third down. The kind of play that decides football games. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Boy, what an incredible job. down play now trying to keep this impressive drive going looking to pick up the first down through the air looks downfield he connects with a wide open wide receiver they bring him down but an explosive play by this offense big game The offense really clicking here. 
And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. Finds room with the 30. Finally brought down, but it's an explosive game. Ball all the way to 21. And the Gators are looking to keep this drive going. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this call. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pass support, running over top of defenders. Just a pretty runner, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yards. We got down to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. First and goal. They play this right and can pretty much put the game on ice. He'll hand it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Florida. This offense cannot be stopped. Well, this head coach told us we've prepared well. We're ready. I'd be shocked if we didn't go out and play well. And he had a good read on his team. It was a big win. This team was incredibly well prepared and schematically liked a lot.
Welcome to Gainesville, Florida, and the Swamp, where, as they like to say here, only the Gators come out alive. This place is cranked up and ready for a big game today. This is not a normal matchup. Two teams ranked in the top 10, colliding right here in the middle of the season, trying to make a strong statement. Big playoff implications. So we'll see a team that made use of a bye week, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackle made, but the game. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is really set up first and goal now. The back's got it. The soft were able to bring him down quickly. You know, when the real estate gets tight inside the 10 yard line, you love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defense coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one dimensional attack he's dealing with. Second down, we're going to throw it. Pass caught, can he get in? The defense stops him just short of the end zone. He spotted at the one. Defense held him to three of the first drive. Can they freeze another field goal attempt here? Third down. They'll try to run this one in. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. He's going to be brought down by that. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. That gets down to avoid the big hit. Boy, the defense trying to get after this quarterback. I love the concept. I love the idea. Here, they don't give up the big play. They prevent him from getting out and picking up huge yards. He lets it go. The ball is picked off. He'll be taken down, but after a good return. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points. At the very least, a field goal. they got to be scratching their heads. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Dropping back. You're going to throw for the first down. The sack of the play could not. The Gators will have first and ten here. They'll run it from the gun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Here's the second down play. From the shotgun, handoff inside. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from him. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with weak speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. The Gators looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And I just love that this defense is not giving up on this first and goal. They attacked. They got through. They got penetration. Nice job of being able to keep them out of the end zone. Oh, that one's picked off. It's a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. Boy, Chris, he hesitated just enough to give the defense a chance to get in position and come up with a big turnover. On the 
Here comes some more big bodies after the defense. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he scores. Touchdown, Florida. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. In blue. In blue. Dropping back, you're going to throw for the first down. Cut quickly. The defense stops him. Okay, ready. Receivers are bunched together. Third and short to try to pick it up on the ground. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. Bringing pressure. Complete to the running back. Can he get first down yardage? Crucial third down play right here. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Try and muscle for the first down. Running through the tackle. They get him at the 42. On the double. Offense getting set. It's second down. Cricket. Now they'll switch it up. Look at to throw the ball here. Snags with good throw. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. On third down, it's a handoff. And the Gators are moving quickly down the field. Well, this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with an... Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Gator. Well, a really entertaining game. For Kim right down to the end, they made the clutch plays, and that made the difference. Well, we knew these teams were fairly evenly matched, and you really saw them go back and forth, straight blow.
This is Jordan Hare Stadium, one of the most passionate environments in all of college football. 87,000 ready to rock and perhaps help create some magic in a place that's seen so much of it over the years. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Doesn't hold on. Get hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. The Gators looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. Chris down here inside the 10 yard line. He's a tough yard to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Gators. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. Looking for the wide out. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. And a big gain moves the ball across midfield all the way to the 39. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And they heave it deep downfield. Makes the catch inside the 10-yard line. The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eight. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Well, what a... Third down play for this offense. Get set, get set. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. They make the first down. Brought down to the... Quarterback pre-snap adjustment snap for this defense. Now it's third and short in the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. And he'll head out of bounds, but not... Ball carrier is the running. Anytime you like to run the toss play successfully, that means you're going to have to win the battle on the edges. That means to seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there. They got a nice game. Thrown quickly. Caught in the right flat. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. He does get pushed back. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Now test the middle and gets stuck. That is just not open for business today. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. And he'll drop back here on third down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Gators. Great job here by the play caller going to that five wide receiver set. You put all these guys out in space and create one-on-one -on -one matchups. 
very tough on this defense to try to win all the matchups and give the quarterback credit for being able to find where he wanted to go to be able to come up with that touchdown. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. We give the running back a touch in the pass game. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Pitch on the play. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. He's running out of time here. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he moved the football and brings up a third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Trying to create here on the move. That one is incomplete. The defender would. Well, Kirk, we thought it might be this kind of a game. Very small margin for error in this game. Who was going to make the crucial play at the end? And they did it to get the W. Yeah, Chris, when games get tight like we saw here, it really comes down to who's the better coach team. Who's going to execute better? this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Gators' offense is on the field for the first time today. The Sunshine State is so rich in talent, the players have known each other in many cases for a long time, and that brings the intensity to a fever pitch. And they do not like each other, Reese. Three of the four years that I was a part of this rivalry game, there were bench-clearing brawls in the middle of the field before opening kickoff. This game just feels different. They'll ride the hot hand. Really good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Leaves it with the running back. 
And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. And the boys of old Florida are getting it done on the ground. And you've seen time periods in history in Florida where they didn't care about the run. Spurrier, just throw it. Yeah, Jesse, throw it again. Yeah, yeah, throw it again. Just chuck it around. But I like when they commit to the ground game, have some success to create some balance. Last time these two got together, Florida got to rub a little salt in the wound as they blew out the Knolls. Well, that was a statement win by the Gators, and I think that win really helped push a bunch of high school prospects that might have been considering both the Seminoles and Gators to Gainesville. That game had a huge impact this offseason for the Gators. The emotions and energy figure to be high all day, guys, because of what's at stake this late in the season. Really a must win for both teams. And these are the ones that get your blood moving, Reese. You get jacked up, man. They're, they're, you don't have to say anything in the locker room, give these big speeches. You know what's at stake, Jesse. You're ready to rock and roll. This is when you prove you're the big dog. Which is pretty cool, too, because it's been a long season. And these teams obviously are both physically and mentally tired, but you're right. For this kind of game, this is the one you circled at the start of the year. You knew that this was going to matter. There was going to be a lot on the line. Now it's time to go out and prove you're the better team. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, just nothing doing on that last run, and they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. Shotgun snap on third down. Got his man quickly. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. From this spot on the field, that would be a 53-yard field goal, but they'll leave the offense out there and try to pick up the first on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. The Seminoles offense will try to get something going with their first possession. Typically, the last thing a defense wants is to have a backer on a wide receiver, but we may see some of that today, guys. Typically, you don't see linebackers that can run like this guy, and that's why they feel okay. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Darnold. Nice pitch and catch there. The pass on These two down. guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. With the catch, it's Kane. Makes the catch and knock down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. They want to just keep throwing it. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. And the Gators are on the move. Takes a snap, wants to throw. Got it! And he'll run out of bounds, just short of the goal I wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get there. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Ready 
after coming up with back-to-back -back explosive plays. Here they are, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it! Offense breaks the huddle on third down. In blue. In blue. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Finds a crease at the 20. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown! Hey. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Here's a timeout. The, the Gators light it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Florida! down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off from the gun wants to pass deep shot for the end zone touchdown Gator And guys, they really need to make something happen on this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Another incomplete. Now let's see if the offense can bail itself out after the second down misfire. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. It's complete to the right. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much. So you take the field against your rival. You're able to put it forth.
Welcome everyone to the original conference championship game. There's simply nothing quite like the intensity when an SEC title is on the line. All the The Gators line up with a first and goal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Florida. Conference championship pressure, they just grind it away. Beautiful execution on that methodical drive. Man, I can't think of a better stage than the conference championship to put together a drive like that. The sticks, executing along the way, avoiding any turnover potential, and coming up. Now it's third and short in the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. This one's going to fall in. The offense goes five wide, empty backfield. Easy. First play of the drive, we're going to throw the football. Looking for a deep completion. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Touchdown, Gators. Just ran away from the defense. Well, that's a well oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. When they're rolling like this, it results in... So it's first and goal. The offense will try to milk the clock and add points if they can. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Boy, is this guy fun to watch him play. Right here we are in the fourth quarter. Critical down in distances, and this guy just churning out yards the way he fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. There's a wide open receiver complete. Wow, what a tremendous run these guys have had. And now they can call themselves champions of the SEC. That's one of the most difficult titles to earn in this sport.
Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl. Part, of course, of the color. They need a yard here on fourth down to keep this drive alive. From the shotgun to hand off. Brought down to the 27. It's a and the Gators come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. He's brought down after a short gain. That's not going to be first down yardage. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Second goal for the offense. He'll try the ground game here with the running back. Fights his way in for this. Ready. Now from the pistol formation. Running play called on third and short. He's tackled inside the 35. The Gators churn out another first down. Here we go. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in his playoff game, no adjustments, go right back to giving this running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. He'll make it into the end zone. An important third down attempt for this offense. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. That one falls incomplete.
Welcome, folks, to Glendale, Arizona, and State Farm Stadium, the site of this year's Verbo Festival, which, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive to keep championship dreams alive. The kickoff team is out there, and here we go with this playoff semifinal game. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. An inside give now from the shotgun. Coaches told us in PA production meetings they love this match mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed. They also showed the ability to break tackles on that one. And the one takes it across the 30 yard line. Defense trying to dig in here on this opening drive. It's third down and in inches. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Tackle, but first down. Yeah, to me, Chris, with this offense, it's almost an extension of their running game. You put the receiver out in motion, you flip the ball out to him, out to the outside, let him do what he does best, which is use his instincts, and he picks up a first down. He's brought down, but not before the game of the 42 yard line. Now it's second down here. Single back takes the handle. They've got him at the 48, and that's a first down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down mark. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. Hold on a second. The replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play. So after taking a closer look, the officials will overturn that previous ruling. The completion makes it second down. It's a shotgun run call. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Lose the ball with 33. The Gators lining up here on first and ten. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Florida. First down here for this offense. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. While stopping with the 34, that will be a first down. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. It's a quarterback keeper. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. There's the handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42 yard line. Well, I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. They put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. The player was down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. So here we go. They're going to go for it on fourth and inches in their own territory. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down at the 46. I can really appreciate this offensive coordinator not trying to just do something crazy. You're less than a foot away from the first down line. Just punch it in and pick up a first down. That's what they call here. It works out perfectly. They get him down, but the game moves the ball for plus 40. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers, and don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are, but can't. 
for me as a fan when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. The pocket breaking down. Cannot escape it. Down he goes. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. He's going to take off. The scramble doesn't get there. That's going to... This was a promising drive, but back-to-back -back incompletions makes it third and ten. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. It's an out route, the catch made. This is turning into a marathon march, 13th play of the drive. First down, we're going to throw the ball. He's got it near the end zone. And he's down at the three-yard line. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Good pass. Here comes a jet sweep. All the way to the end zone. Defense better regroup after that big gainer. It's first and goal just outside the five. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. The defense made a good play there, but they need to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. He's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Quarterback drops back. He's going to test the secondary. They hit him behind the line, and out comes the football. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside, give him a couple choice words on the importance of ball security. Pressure is coming. He's hit right as he throws it. Empty backfield, offense spreading the field with five wide. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. There's a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Florida. You put five wide receivers in your formation? Got it. And the Gators starting a new series here on first and ten. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. The Gators line it up with first and goal. And he will be stuffed for no game. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense to staying in their run fits. They were holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. The incompletion sets up a third and goal from the three. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not. On the 
The offense was moving well, but two incompletions sets up a third and ten. They'll run it here. Dak with the only after. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or do they have to settle for three? They'll use that running game trying to bleed the clock here. Welcome everyone to a piece of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And the kickoff will be a return. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So Florida's offense will have the football first here. Well, here we go, Kirk. The energy in this place is tremendous. We are 16 minutes away from crowning a new national champion. And think about it, Chris. These two teams have put everything into this to get to this stage and this opportunity. Let's see who can handle it better. Takes the handoff on the counter play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz. And that linebacker was coming down Hill Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. You're right. He shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. They bring him down right at the 20. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. The pass rush closing in. The pressure in and sack into the attack. Big guys up front, lined up. It's first down. Moves. Handoff here from the shotgun. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. Second down play coming up for this offense. It's an option look. He'll toss it to the back. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. On third and short to hand the ball off. McGain is good enough for a first down here in the 38. A good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases, to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. He stopped short the marker after just a short game. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. And it's picked off. He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. He's got some open field ahead. Touchdown.
offense sets the formation. It's third down. Tackle made at the 41. That's four. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And they hit him just as he leaves. Here we go, first and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. Get set, get set. Oh. They'll hand it off. And that run produces a decent game. Coming up, second down and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. He powers it. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And it's incomplete. comes the punter onto the field. He goes out of bounds with no time left, and we have a national champion. And that'll do it. We have a national champion. They fall a little bit short at the final hurdle. A small consolation, but who really had an excellent season. A lot to be proud of. Just couldn't get the job done here today. Chris, that's really well said. And, and while I know we're going to have plenty of time over the next few weeks and months to focus on the champs, it's not easy to get to this point. While I know it's tough in that other locker room right now, I have a feeling they're going to be back. For now, however, let's enjoy the celebration of the national champs. Well, that's going to do it for us and wrap up another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler. This has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. They are official. Your Kings.